John chapter 18, verse 38. Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews. And he saith unto them, I find no fault at all in him. I find in him no fault at all. What is truth? I find in him no fault at all. Stay tuned. Welcome to Honest News. Are you sure that you're walking in truth? Pilate could not find fault in the truth. Amen? <clears throat> there are going to be those that are going to be presented before the Lord's throne without fault. Now, fault is not only, or excuse me, truth is not only without fault. Truth is also a person. Right? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for sending to us the truth that would lead us in the way to life everlasting. For sending to us the Word, sending to us your only Son, that we might come to you, Father. We ask that you bless and anoint this message as we minister your Word, and bless and anoint your people to receive the Word, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I think this is one of the number one questions in society today, probably has been the number one question down through history, through time. What is truth? What is truth? And that was the question that was on Pilate's mind. What is truth? Let's read the context of this in John chapter 18. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook Kidron, where was a garden into which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place. For Jesus oftentimes resorted thither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons, Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? 
They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus saith unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Notice this next verse. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Why did they fall backward to the ground? Because the truth is God in the flesh. Emmanuel, God with us. In him dwelt the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in him dwelt the Godhead bodily. If you look up this phrase in the Old Testament, I am he, you will find that God Almighty is saying this. I am he. Before me, there was no God formed. I know not any. Amen? God Almighty in the flesh. Whom do you seek? Are you sure you know who you seek? Are you sure you know that he's not just a man? Are you sure you know who you seek? It's a good question, isn't it? Good question for us today. Whom do you seek? Whom seek ye? Who are you looking for? Who are you seeking for? Are you really looking for the truth? Are you sure? Are you sure that's what you really want? What you're longing for? Do you really want to know the truth? Not just know the truth about yourself or about something, but do you really desire to know the truth? The scripture says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And like unto that, the scripture says, to whom the Son of Man shall make free, shall be free indeed. And so we ask the question, whom seek ye? Who are you seeking? Who are you looking for? And you may say, Jesus of Nazareth. I'm seeking Jesus. I'm looking for Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm looking for Jesus. I'm seeking Jesus. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? That you're seeking the great I am? Are you sure? I'll give a moment for that to sink in. Because a lot of times folks don't really know who they're seeking. Whom 
Tzatziki. Those that thought they were seeking Jesus of Nazareth, they fell back under the power of God. We see a lot of folks falling backwards today. Does it mean it's God? Does it mean it's Jesus? Or could they be under the judgment of God? Amen. They fell backwards. The man that fell asleep while the preacher was preaching fell backwards, broke his neck. I, I can't seem to get away from this. I, I can't seem to get away from this. Whom seek ye? It's like, it's like the Holy Ghost through me right now is, is like Jesus wants to know who you're seeking. Who are you looking for? Are you looking for this man? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's not many ways to the Father. Is that who you're seeking? Are you seeking this one? This man? Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and he saith unto them, I find in him no fault at all. When you seek Jesus, is that who you're seeking? The one that has no fault? And the one that can produce in you faultlessness? No fault? Are you believing the Lord to produce in you a faultless nature? I mean, what are you really seeking? What is it you're really looking for? Just something to get by? What are you really looking for, friend? Something where you can just get by. Something just a hobby. Something to just add to your list. Do you really have the desire to be without fault? How many know if you're going to be without fault, you've got to know the truth? Amen. you got to know him. That's the only way you're going to be free. Revelation 14 and 5 says, And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of of God. Is everyone going to experience that? These are they which were not defiled with women, not with the church, and not with the whore of Babylon. It doesn't say these are not they which were defiled with a woman. One, singular, no, women. Because there's also 
the woman, the church, and then there's the woman, the whore of Babylon. And then there's also the daughters, the harlots of the whore. But they weren't defiled with the women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Listen. If the church has to meet this requirement. What is the bride required? The church is the first fruits, but the bride is the first of the first fruits. The 144,000 that follow the Lamb wheresoever he goes, that's the church. But the bride hallelujah praise the Lord what is it that is required of the bride what is required of the bride And how is she going to attain perfection? The absolute truth to perfection. God's not going to give that to everybody, people. Not everybody's going to get that. Not everybody's going to attain that. You're kidding. I mean, you really are fooling yourself if you think God's going to let just anybody receive the highest calling, the highest reward in the kingdom. God has set a place and a position for a Elite, if you will. Amen. For an elite company. Praise the Lord. How many know that there are going to be some elders? Some elders in God's kingdom. There's going to be some priests. Amen? There's going to be some kings. But there's also going to be a queen. Hallelujah. Is the Lord going to become one with just anybody? You know, Paul, his cry was, oh, that I might know him. The scripture says you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. Pilate's question is, what is truth? In all of this, I believe the Lord is still asking the same question. Whom seek ye? Who do you seek? Who is it you're looking for? Seek the Lord while he may be found of you. Seek the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, With all your soul, with all your strength, 
Seek his face. Seek him. With all, everything within you. Is there anybody out there like that? Is there anybody with that kind of a burning desire? Only the Lord knows. Amen. Only he knows. The Lord tells you and I, just keep hungering, keep thirsting, keep longing, keep pressing toward that mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, the ultimate Is there anything in you that would settle for less? If there is, you won't attain it. If you're willing to settle for anything less than God's absolute best, you will never attain to it. You will never attain to what you don't believe him for. You're kidding yourself. You're fooling yourself. You're cheating yourself. You've got to see it. Are you listening? You've got to see it with the eyes of faith. You've got to see it, people. God's got to show it to you. He's got to open up your eyes to see it. Praise the Lord. That's why it says, anoint your eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. Do we really see the truth? Do we really see him who is the truth? And I've shared this with you in the past. Isaiah, when he saw the truth, he said, woe is me. Amen? When he saw the truth, he said, woe is me. I'm undone. Do we really know who we seek? Do we? Whom do you seek? If it's just Jesus of Nazareth, Remember, Jesus of Nazareth is the Son of Man. But in him dwelt the Godhead, the fullness, the Godhead people, bodily. Jesus said to Philip, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. In him dwelt the fullness without measure. The fullness. Emmanuel. God with us. Amen. Praise the Lord. No man took his life from him. He laid it down of himself. Amen. No one took his life from him. You can't take his life from him. Did you know you can't take his life from him? He has to give that to you. You can't steal eternal life. Can't just take it. If he doesn't give it to you. Amen. You can't seize upon him. Hallelujah. I do believe with all my heart in this hour, the Lord desires to reveal himself. I really believe that. But how many of us can handle it? He sits as a refiner's fire. 
Who's going to be able to abide when he suddenly visits his temple? Which you are. When he sits as a refiner's fire in the house of God, in the temple. When he suddenly comes to his temple. Not when you're expecting him. No wonder the Lord's telling you and I, be ready. Be ready. Hallelujah. How many today are seeking Jesus and they don't even know who they're seeking? They didn't know. They just thought he was a man. No man took his life from him. He laid it down. Amen? Just like Isaac was willing to allow Abraham to sacrifice him. Jesus, Son of God, became obedient unto death. And all of it was for the salvation of the lost. He did nothing of himself or for himself. It was all for you and I. That none should perish. That none would be lost. That all would come to repentance. But you hear people saying today, This is my truth. That's your truth. The devil's confusing people, making them think everybody has their own truth. When perverts come out of the closet, they say, this is my truth. Yeah, but you're living a lie. So now a lie... Living a lie is acceptable because now it's been called a truth. Because now you're coming out of the closet. Again, if you truly are of the truth, the scripture says you will be without guile, and you'll be without fault before the throne of God. Pilate could not find any fault in Jesus. Does that mean they're not going to persecute? Does that mean they're not going to hurt or harm? Or does that mean that they're just going to let you go? Leave you alone? They crucified him. Amen. They crucified him. The truth. Hallelujah. World's going to hate you. World's going to reject you. You that are of the truth. You that are without guile. You that are without fault. You think they'd be happy for someone without fault, right? No, because when they get around somebody without fault, it reminds them of their own faults. It's true. You get in the presence of somebody that seems without fault, it makes you feel uncomfortable, doesn't it? Because you know you're full of faults. You don't like the fact that they don't have any fault. So what do you do? You start looking for something. Trying to find something. Right? I mean, you can't find anything. What do you do? You falsely uh, falsely accuse. That's what they did to Jesus. I find no fault in him. Well, we'll find something. And if we can't find something, 
We'll make something up. That's how the truth is treated. And that's what they did. That's what they did. They made something up. And under false pretense, they crucified him. Under false pretense. In every major war, Every major war has been because of false pretense. That's right. So what is our place in all of this? Jesus says, if you're going to follow me, take up your own cross. Despise the shame. Rejoice when you're Persecuted, he said. Right? He said, uh, when they falsely accuse you, it glorifies your Father in heaven. I said, falsely accuse you. You're not going to be loved or accepted. If you are of the truth, you're going to be hated. Amen. Jesus said, when they came to arrest him, he said, let these go their way. Not only does love provide, but he protects. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you'll obey the Lord, he'll protect you. I know we look at Jesus and we see him crucified and seeing him suffer and you say, how's he going to protect me? He couldn't protect himself. He wasn't supposed to protect himself. He laid his life down for us. Amen. Praise the Lord. God accepted his son's offering for us. He made his soul an offering. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're not supposed to live for ourselves, people. Amen. We're not supposed to be living for ourselves, seeking our own pleasure. Praise the Lord. We need to crucify the flesh, the lust thereof, and live as unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. A living sacrifice. A burnt offering. Offered up to the Father. Through the Son. That's what Jesus meant when he said, follow me. We follow him. It's like Peter said. The Lord showed us how to put off this body. Amen? He showed us. Jesus showed us how to put off this body. Praise the Lord. To follow him. In the regeneration, we're following him. Praise his name. Hallelujah. When you're confronted with the truth, anything that's not the truth in your life is going to be exposed. Are you willing 
He'll let go of anything that's not truth. Anything that makes a lie. Are you willing to let it go? Are you willing to let him cleanse you? Deliver you from anything that is not truth? That's how you're made free. He makes you free. But you've got to accept his judgment. Amen? You've got to accept his judgment. What he sees, what he reproves you of, you've got to accept that. Let him reprove you. Let him correct you. Let him deliver you so that you can walk in the truth and that you can be without fault before the throne of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So I'll just say this in the closing whom seek ye <laughs>